Okay, so we are out here at the McDonald's. I found an Amazon worker. He's at lunch right now. And I asked him, hey, can I check out your sweet ride? Yeah. And, and it's like, is that the new electric uh, prime truck? Yep. You, what did you say? It was made by what? It's powered by Rivian. Powered by Rivian? Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that fancy stuff. Dude, yeah, I seen one guy had a YouTube video of it. He was driving around. I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, so it's, it's very nice. It's very spacious in here. And it has this massive touch screen. Um, oh yeah, it's like, it looked like a Tesla in here. Oh yeah, it basically is what Tesla has and stuff. Um, it's got a certain kind of braking system regenerative braking so you don't have to like touch your brake pedal so like one pedal driving yeah yeah and it has like all your settings and whatnot like you can connect to your phone it has its own internet um but then you can click this button and that door automatically opens oh wow you just got done with your shift so y'all all cleaned out in here yep yep so you normally this be like full of boxes i guess all, all these shelves yeah, yeah. Full of all like different cardboard boxes for our oversize and like these big like plastic looking crates and stuff would just be all over the shelves and whatnot. But yeah, I just got done with my shift, so. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I like these shelves. These shelves are a whole lot of gear. Oh yeah. And, and it's all AC. You have a big yeah. AC back here you too. Can turn, yeah, there's a fan. Turn on right here. Because I know... I, it's super loud, but... Oh my god, it's like a, like a jet engine back here. <laughs> right? <laughs> I normally keep it off because it's really loud, but when it's like, you know, 95 or 100 and this back area with this door shut turns into an oven. So with that, there's actually like some sort of uh, air filtration, which is nice. The other vans that we had, like the rentals, the Mercedes and like the Rams and stuff, were not as spacious so they just this is such a more ideal delivery oh. van yeah it's like it was like custom made from the ground up to be a delivery vehicle right and not just like another like a spinner van that you kind of made into a delivery van yeah it's really nice i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so it's it's it, what nice working for amazon it's pretty good, good. yeah it's pretty they give good. you this cool ride you get cool <laughs> cruise around in all day and yeah, Drop this stuff is off nice. the people houses. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Uh, and like, there's one thing that's funny is like this mirror and that mirror is on different pillows. Yep, yep, just, yep. I mean, it's just a design thing. Yeah, but look at it has this big windshield. It's like humongous windshield. Oh yeah. It looked like the. Uh, so like one thing about a like electric vehicle is that you don't have to have that big vent in the front. You know? It's got a big battery. Oh yeah. The whole bottom probably a battery. Yeah. You know, the probably like, right underneath there is like probably like a bunch of little like 18650s. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's very spacious. It's very nice for delivering and whatnot, so yeah. So it's just really long. <laughs> what do you mean long? The vehicle itself is, is long itself. So turning is is um, probably your only difficulty driving. Yeah, it's that and like hitting something up here. It's a really tall van. It's really so tall and long, not very long. How long and how tall do you think it is? You know that spec? I know I know its height is nine and a half or nine point seven feet. Yeah, you definitely gotta know the height because like yeah. like because you can't couldn't drive through the drive through. Because like the drive through is only nine foot and this is nine and a half, so you're just like half a foot too tall for a drive through. Yeah. And also through. too long to drive through the drive through. Yeah. You would get stuck going around the like the corners. Yeah. There's that and like places like hospitals and whatnot. Their overhangs have to be like a certain height. So it's like it's got its pros and its cons. But for a delivery vehicle, this is top notch. You can ask for anything better, you know. Yeah, like back in the day, like I, I, I remember right now, like unions are like protesting, like I'm not going to deliver no like for FedEx. Yeah. Like FedEx union, uh, the unions are trying to get 
everybody to get AC right now. Yep. They don't even have AC in, the, in, in most of the trucks. Yep. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. At, like, to this day, it's like a... Dude, global, with global warming is a freaking 100 degrees every freaking day in Michigan. Yeah. In Michigan, it's 100 degrees every day. Like, you know, it's like, I remember in the day, like, like you used it, yeah, you didn't really need AC. You could get do without AC, but with the climate as it is and how the hot summers we've been having, like, you, ha you, you, you literally, there's people get literally getting sick and dying out here in the heat if you didn't have AC. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. So... Um, it's. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, show us around anything you want to shout out. Your YouTube channel or Instagram or anything. Nope, just Michigan. <laughs> Michigan. All right. Shout out Michigan, West Amazon, <laughs> Amazon Prime team. Uh, thank you for showing us your sick ride. Uh, Eric, the Dream Giver. Please like and subscribe. Yep. Like and subscribe. <laughs>